Hello and welcome to Mickey Art. My name is Michelle Edhouse and today I'm going to be challenging myself as per the Acrylic Pouring for Fun Facebook group challenge to create a string pull. Dun, dun, dun. Now I have tried doing this before and not succeeded. Um, so I'm going to give it a go. Um, and the target for me today is to make a silver fern. So I've got all sorts of metallics. I'm going, hmm, should I do gold, copper? And I was like, yeah, yep, yep. Or what else? Or what else? Or what else? Um, and what I recognised was I'm going to do both. How's it getting any better than that? So I'm going to do gold and copper. And I'm going to throw in a little bit of green. Not that it'll stand out much, but it'll just give it a lit, little hint. A little possibility of green in amongst the foliage. Now, I don't know why it is, but I seem to be on a bit of a black background binge at the moment. And uh, those of you that know me, I come from New Zealand. Um, you know, the silver fern is the New Zealand... Um, New Zealand logo for our netball team, the silver ferns. You'll also see, um, you know, the the fern logo on rugby and all sorts of stuff. But um, there's actually not going to be any silver in this. <laughs> Although I might put a little bit of iridescent medium. That would be a bit fun, wouldn't it? All right. So let's first of all cover our canvas with black and just gonna dribble it back into the pot if possible. It's always good to catch what you don't use, even if it's just catch it on the um on some plastic and scrape it back into the pot if you can. As you can see I've got lots of air bubbles in this um, but that's okay we can sort that out shortly. So for those of you that are new to acrylic pouring welcome. The target with having a black uh, having background paint is so that your canvas has actually got paint on it. Have you ever been um, been somewhere and seen a canvas that was only half painted? It kind of doesn't, to me, it doesn't look finished. That's my point of view. So I choose not to do that. It's not a requirement. But I prefer to have that um, that totally covered look. And uh, if you're looking to get into this, maybe knowing what you like um, would be a good place to start. And if you don't know what you like, experiment till you go, oh, wow, I like it like that. <laughs> now, if you're wondering what I'm holding on to, I've actually got little push pins in the back of my canvas just to hold it in place. Um... And some people ask me, why don't you tape off your canvas so that it has a nice clean back? Well, personally, this is a messy type of painting. And it proves to people that they've actually bought a real piece of art. That's my interesting point of view. And at this point, I'm sticking to it. It may change in the future. It's my prerogative. Let's have a look. So let's get those bubbles popped off for a start off. Um, there's many ways to pop your bubbles. The one I like is with a flame torch. It tends to pop them quite easily. You could spend ages sitting there popping them with a stick, like a toothpick or something. Um, if you do choose to do it that way, then I highly recommend you dry the stick between pops because once the stick starts to get a bit damp it um it starts to 
um, not pop them just kind of slide through slide back out again and not actually pop it it's the um, the friction caused by a dry something there we go so we have a canvas to start on our next step is to get our bit of string all prettied up and I'm just having a look at this bit of string and it's not very tidy at the end these scissors aren't very sharp for cutting string I'm just looking at the way it bends it's pretty manky at this end it's quickly so I'm going to pour the paint on this end um, you don't need a lot of paint for this but you do need need some basically you need to saturate the string however you choose to do that And again, you could put 5, 10, 15 colours in here. Or you can just use one. Or you can use two. Or however many you desire. Like it's totally up to you. Your creation. Um, I'm personally going to do that. And then I have some iridescent medium, which is... Um, quite a few different brands have iridescent medium and you can use it uh, it's, it's designed to be mixed into your paint um, to make your paint sparkly so you could take green and make it into emerald with sparkles um, or you can but I, t I tend to actually not even um, do it just Mix it up as if it is a paint itself, and then it gets to do its thing. And then if you want to mix it into a colour, you've automatically got it pre-mixed to the right mixture, and you can take your pre-mixed green and your pre-mixed iridescent medium, mix them together, and know you're going to come out with something pretty, pretty similar. Now, the target with using it like this is you get to lay it back down again pretty much in the same place. So I'm just going to lay this down mm -mm. pull to there and then pull up like that now I do have silicon in the copper um, so as you can see straight away we've got silicon bits in there I'm just going to lay that back down into the paint and dab it in make sure it's all nice and covered again hmm so, we had it like that. So I'm going to drop it back down in the same place as we had it last time. And I'm not getting a very fern-like finish, am I? So, if I think of a fern, I think of it as being... Um, Where's my pen? Where's it? Dollop of black paint. I think of it being as kind of like that, but it comes down to a point. And that's kind of got that thing happening there, and I'm not liking that. <laughs> I like the design, don't get me wrong, but let's give it another go. Just 
drop that string back in, tapping over it again. And this time when I pull, I'm going to take it. It's still not doing it, is it? One more go on the other side. It doesn't look like a silver fern at all. What does it look like instead? <laughs> Looks like a piping bag. Yeah, there we go. I'm just gonna. Tilt it slightly so that these big clumps can tilt a little bit. And then I'm gonna run over it with the torch and just see. what happens all right I'm gonna get a clean bit of string because that other one was getting Pretty manky. Tap that down into there. It's not doing it. It's not doing it at all. What is it doing, guys? I'm starting to get a little bit frustrated. I quite, I really quite like this part, but I, it, it, eh, it did, it did, it, I'm gonna cry. It's not fair. It's not working. What's it gonna take for this to work with ease? What am I not seeing? What is, what's right about this? I'm not getting. All those really cool questions that start to open up possibilities. Get you to see what else is possible. Oh. It's complaining because I haven't put the green in, maybe. Remember how I said I was going to put green in there? It's like, I can't be a fan without green. Dum, 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 dum. All right. Oh look, we've got some green. It's instead of just having a single silver fern, what if we were to have
some more pools. <laughs> I have seen some really cool creations on the acrylic pouring for fun Facebook group event um, where people have been doing their string pulls. You know what I'm going to do now? <laughs> Probably not. I'm going to drag this string through some of this dripped off black. And then just down here, I'm going to disrupt that and I'm really starting to like this now and just one more paint all over all my fingers. I'm trying to keep the colours and the black separated and it's not really working. So Just one more. I'm gonna go gold. And go in here. Copper. I'm just dipping straight into the pots now, guys. It was fun, even if it hasn't come out the prettiest. Hmm. All right, guys. So this is why I picked this challenge for this month, because it really is a challenge for me. I am not good at this stuff. <sighs> what else? What else? I'm going to put... One more pull through there. And 
and That little sparkle, little bit of sparkle, and a little bit of sparkle. All right, that's fun. It was fun. I'm not overly excited about this one, but I reckon this one would make a really good bag flap for my handbag. If you guys haven't seen that video of when I made um, a zip on, zip offable bag flap. I'm having lots of fun having different bag flaps and these 8x10s are just about perfect for a bag flap. So um, it's fun, it's interesting and we'll see how it dries. I will be back in 3, 2, 1. Alright guys, here she is, all dry. She's stayed exactly as we left her and uh, she's fun. I like it. I like it. I think we could definitely make some uh, material out of this. The, the shapes are very fun and funky and fluid and oh, yummy. All right. So there you go. There's my first string pull of the month. Um, what else is possible? What else can I create? What else can I choose? And how much more fun can I have choosing it? Um, I've been really enjoying those um, pictures that you guys have been sharing in the event page on the um, Acrylic Pouring for Fun Facebook group. So if you've been doing some string pulls or some chain pulls, uh, then pop on over, jump in, pop your photos into the event. So you go to Acrylic Pouring for Fun Facebook group and then you look for events. It'll either be down the side if you're on a computer or across the top if you're on a phone. And in events, you will find our event that is happening. And it's exciting. I have also linked at the top somewhere. So throw your pictures in there. And I am going to be going live probably early next week. Um... So if you want to have 24 hours notice of when I go live, make sure you signed up on here. And that way we can um, keep that creating, keep that, have, have fun together, play together. And you'll know when to come on instead of having to hope that YouTube reminds you and that, and that you're available. So... What else is possible guys what else can we paint on what else can we pull string across or chains across or what else can we play with how much more fun can we have and what are you now able to have fun with that you weren't able to have fun with before i adore you and i look forward to playing with you again super soon Bye bye